How's it going fellow core cutters Antoine here with core cutter lifestyle and tech and today we're going to be taking a look at the NBA league pass so in this video I'm going to be showing you guys the pricing device availability the features and most importantly the content and you know hopefully in this video I can help anybody that's anybody out there that may be confused about what's going on with this service because I will admit it is mostly confusing about what content is available to you so to kick it off i want to say this first the nba league pass content is only available on the nba tv app there's no league pass app and it's available through the nba.com website that's how you're going to access your league pass content you see right there at the top left hand corner screen that's how you access your league pass content but Let's get into the pricing structure. So they have four core packages. They have 11 packages packages in total. But in this video, I'm going to go deeper into five of them because three of the 11 don't apply to U.S. residents. So League Pass Premium, you get content from all teams, no commercials. This plan goes for $249.99 per year or $39.99 monthly. Now, other features in this um, plan include you can watch on two devices at one time. Now, this is the only plan that you can watch on two devices at one time. You can also download games for offline viewing. So, let's go over here to more features, uh, commercial free, two de devices si si simultaneously, access to live and on-demand games, access to full game archives starting from 2012 now i will say this i tried this feature out on the roku the fire stick and on the website whenever i try to access content before 2018 it says i need to link to a tv service provider i don't know what's going on with that but that's the message i was getting um, live audio for every game select in-game language and the florister feeds multi-camera viewing options where available so the multi viewing camera options uh, when you go to select the game you're going to have different options to view um, to choose from mobile view coach cam player cam wherever is available does that's what you can choose so access to full length and condensed game replay so condensed game replay is just like a 10 minute clip of all the highlights um, home and away video and audio feeds access to league pass classic game um, and also you can download games to off offline viewing so the next package is the standard league pass package which also gives you access to content from all of the teams but with this one you have to watch commercials and you can only watch on one device so this plan goes for 199 per year or 28.99 per month that's the only difference between League Pass and League Pass Premium is how many streams you get and the commercials. Now let's go to Team Pass. So Team Pass is just like League Pass. You're going to have commercials. You're going to have all the content, but only for one team. As you can see here, you can also download content for offline viewing. So the next um, package in their plan is the NBA TV Live TV plan. This plan, NBA TV plan, is the only plan that's available as an add-on for all of the package. This NBA TV Live TV plan is completely different from the League Pass plan. I know this could be confusing for some people. What's the difference between League Pass and what's the difference between NBA TV? So with the NBA TV, you get access to live games. Um, you get around the clock NBA coverage. You don't get that with the NBA League Pass. Uh, with the NBA TV, you get um, NBA shows. So you get access to press conference, exclusive archival footage. Uh, let's go over here. It's 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 different from the uh, the League Pass um, subscription. So. Um, you get access to every finals game from 2000 up until 2020. Those are going to be available on demand to you. Uh, NBA TV shows. So you got Shaq and the Fool. You got other um, live access shows that's going to be available. Access 
exclusive access to 24-hour stream, show archives, exclusive features, interviews, press conference, top highlights, um, NBA TV games, and live events. Those are things you're not going to get in the NBA League Pass. And this NBA TV Live is going for $6.99 per month or $59.99 per year. And the top four packages right here, NBA League Pass Premium, Rec Standard League Pass, All Teams, and NBA TV, those are subject to blackouts. So an NBA game blackout, blackout happens when, like, say, for example, you live in Seattle. And uh, let's let's just say Cleveland. Say you live in Cleveland, and the Cleveland Cavaliers are playing on your local station. That game is going to be blacked out for you because you just because you live in that same market, and there's going to be conflicts with um, NBA League Pass and whoever's airing that game in that local market. Um, other blackouts happen when a game is airing on TNT or TBS or ESPN. Uh, you will not be able to access that game live on NBA TV or NBA League Pass, but you will be able to watch it after the game has concluded. So I say all that to get into this, the audio. The audio feed is just like NBA League Pass, but um, of course it's only auto and there are no blackouts. This package goes for $9.99 per month. Is it one time payment? $9.99. $9.99 for that. So just for one game, you want to pay $9.99. All right, so let's go down here and see the other package. So you have the NBA eight game choice, NBA geek three game choice, and NBA day pass. Those three packages are not available to US residents, but if you live outside the US, and you decide to travel to the U.S., you will be able to still access your um, games as normal. But if you're in the U.S., you cannot purchase that plan. All right, so the NBA Seagull game is just like the NBA League Pass, but this is only for one Seagull game. You purchase that one single game, and the prices vary depending on what team you own or what time of the season you purchase it. But you can have all the features of League Pass, except downloading but you can view different camera angles different languages but that's only for one game same thing with the 10 minute pass uh, you have a 10 minute pass of access uh, whatever content you want to um, access all right so I skipped over device availability but the NBA League Pass is go to my notes right here so the NBA League Pass is available on almost every cord cutter device. I know I touched on a Roku and a Fire Stick, but it's available on iOS, Android, Android TV, um, Google Play Store, iOS Store, Xbox One, and Xbox Series X, PS4, PS5, Chromecast, Fire TV, Fire Stick, like I said, Amazon Alexa, CarPlay, and Apple Watch. Those are where, you, where you're going to be able to access your NBA TV content. Now let's just browse around the website. Now I mess with this on a Roku and a Fire Stick. Each platform has um, similars are pretty much the same. You can review the roster of who's playing in the game, who's on the court. So that's a plus right there. So let's go here to leap. So when you browse, if you're browsing through the website, you just click on league pass content then you can watch that content but league pass is mainly only for games nba tv you can watch different nba tv tv shows um like i said shack in the food top 10 highlights if it's not already available for free but um league pass is strictly for games the nba tv is for shows and games and the, the, the best way i can put it is NBA League Pass gives you access to every full game, while NBA TV gives you access to select full games. Because NBA TV, live TV, you have to choose from games. You just can't go back and say, I want to watch Jordan, um, Pippen, or whatever, or I want to go back to um, 2000, this, this game and watch it. You can't choose from any game with NBA TV, but you can with NBA League Pass. All right, folks, that is it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys learned something. 
um i hope i answered any questions that anybody may have had with the service and uh, hopefully i see you guys next time peace out